Alrighty. So you're wondering how to get big biceps. Well, you've come to the right channel because that's all I know how to do, actually. That's the only thing I'm good at in life. I'm Mitchell. This is Carson. And we're the Test Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Big biceps, that's what we got going on today. First step is get your hydration and your pump formula going. Cause when that blood is flowing, that bicep gonna be showing. Another step, getting the proper nutrients to the bicep. You know, if you're going into your workout hungry, you already lost half the battle, okay? It's not, there's like 20 ingredients in this little ass Rice Krispie. It's simple sugars, it's gonna die. But there's a bunch of bullshit. There's one ingredient in this and it's all so simple. Sugars and potassium no, and other great digest as fast as that. It's it got will. fiber. You're dumb as a box of rocks. Banana has one ingredient. Kellogg made this shit. Yeah, it's a, Kellogg banana. made this shit. Banana has one ingredient. It's banana. Yeah. You think Kellogg cares about your digestion at all? They made it so you're hungry again for another one. All right. It's Sugar, it's not gonna satisfy <laughs> shit. But I'll tell you, get those carbs, those damn muscles, quick and fast. And that's the damn goal. Ruined it by eating that damn banana. Why are you getting so heated over the waste, <laughs> I need something to pour this every in. Go, every time I go to talk, you just... Where's the blue shaker at? Don't cut me off, cocksucker. There it is. You got it? Let no, me get it. I can't reach up there. Come on. <laughs> Good arm tips, Mike, besides bicep curl and protein. There's a lot of <laughs> tips that you definitely aren't utilizing. <laughs> what? You don't know train. about resistance training. You don't know about anything. You know what? I don't overcomplicate this, any of that, that shit. Squeeze. No. Overcomplicating shit, you know. Hit it's every not overcomplicating anything. It's not complicated at, at all, in fact. It's just taking another step of hypertrophy to the next level and being an advanced lifter to get advanced gains. Been listening to too much of Jeff Nippard, bro. I don't watch Jeff Nippard. Oh. Yeah. Nice f***ing <laughs> try. <laughs> you think I'm get, listening to Jeff Nippard for f***ing gains? No, I watch Nick Walker. I watch actual bodybuilders who are big as f giants. And you just can't want, you can't but wonder how the hell did they get that big. So tip number one is peptides and steroids. <laughs> <laughs> tip two, research. Do your research. If you're clicking on a Trend Twins video to figure out <laughs> how to get big bicep, <laughs> you need to do your research, bro. Step three, grab a buddy, pull out a needle, and start pinning each other's ass. Yeah, that's the same as step one. All right, step four, protein. All right, step five, find the nearest restroom, lock yourself inside it, and start edging yourself for an hour. <laughs> Brain rise setting in right now. Step six. And a bar. I forgot that. Step seven. Grab your keys to your Hellcat Red Eye and crash it. Step nine. Elbow your brother in the face. Step ten. Counter that elbow by ducking, bobbing and weaving to the left, and then striking the appendix, rupturing it, causing internal bleeding. Bro, just turn into Mortal Kombat. Step eleven. Eat your Rice Krispie finally. Everything on this channel is meant to be anabolic. We will never become catabolic. Actually, okay? we are fucking catabolic, right? Are you dumb? Yeah. I'm the loss of muscle or using muscle as fuel. No. Nope. Yes, it is. You need to look it up. Catabolic refers to the breakdown of complex molecules in a simpler substances, usually resulting in the release of energy. Catabolic are essential for generating energy for cellular activities, growth, and maintenance of body. The gear we need to do catabolic doesn't make sense to try to reduce breaking down your cellular activities and various chemical factors. These factors involve the release of energy stored in the chemical bonds of these molecules, which can then be used uh, by various functions, bonding functions. For example, catabolic cross include. I don't listen to people wearing fluffy sweatshirts. Is no. this fluffy, you dumb fuck? It looks fluffy. Feel it. It's not fluffy. It's more like a rug texture, and I, I actually like it. It's cool. Okay. It's a little different. You can't just do one bicep workout for four sets call it a day and then do it again a week later i think I they know, know that much that. yeah all right intensity number one don't train like a bitch okay you want to be able to hit the muscle as many times as you can and as hard as you can while also getting the proper rest and fuel what i recommend on a good a good arm day is starting heavier starting with them heavy bicep curls 
your heaviest movements for a bicep and tricep. But yeah, you're gonna fatigue your central nervous system and your arms because you're going heavier, you know, it's a lot more strain. You're gonna get to that fail failure quicker for the rest of your sets throughout the workout. Going heavier and heavier every workout is an easy way to progressive overload and track, like, are you getting stronger? Because then you're gonna be getting bigger. So that's just an easy sign to know despite looking in a mirror and looking small. When you're training, some movements are gonna bring your nervous system closer to failure than others. I mean, there's a lot of people who I see doing a lot of sh junk volume, where it's actually making you smaller because your nervous system is in shambles and it's not gonna allow your body to recover. Your cortisol is gonna increase, cortisol breaks down muscle. But me personally, I like two pump sets and then two hard sets of failure. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get the job done. I like to spend most of the time looking in the mirror, looking at the motherfucking pump. All right, rather than pump it up, I'd rather just sit there and look at the motherfucker. Even better, look at it while I'm performing the exercise, because that motherfucker look juicy as shit when you got a little bit of resistance. <sighs> My fucking shoulders are killing me, so I definitely don't want to involve a lot of, a lot of shoulders here, so we're going to keep her. Well, stop involving your mouth and hit the fucking step. <laughs> <laughs> We're going hard today. We're going fucking hard. Hey, you're looking big as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. That shoulder too, though? This shit. Damn, you get big? You don't got big on me, Mike. Okay. You don't grow up on me and shit. Alright. <sighs> <laughs> because you're a reflection of me, that reflection needs to be fucking pristine. So let's go, baby. Let's get bigger. Let's get shredded. Oh, yeah. Let's look good. Hell yeah. I'm on 24 inch box. Well, you're not going to get it. <laughs> but we're there. We're getting there, man. You're, at, you're getting closer to 22. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every rep fucking counts. Yes, Every rep counts. Every rep counts. Come on. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You know, leaning forward with it and like really flexing them up there, bro, that fucking feels insane. When you really lose the momentum and you focus, and you focus purely on the, the constriction of the muscle, then that's, that's pure bicep action going on. Lose the momentum, getting that fucking deep stretch, boom. When you're at super, when you're super setting, you're already at failure. So you're gonna damn tell them, not me. Well, I just fucking said I'm not saying it again. It's not smart, but I use jet. I just confirmed something that I was confused about. God damn it, do you want a brawl? You want a fucking brawl? Do you want a brawl? Shut the fuck up. You so no, I don't. I want to hit. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my right hand. Dude. Right in the balls, eh? Oh. Look what you did to Kyle, my Come on, buddy. Hey, yeah, bro, just let me sit here for a second. That was right on my balls. Right the accuracy at the right hand, no. Oh, God. They're like frozen. I can't. I can't feel did them. Did it hit your balls like straight up? Like straight. I got this energy that was almost like violence. You know? We all got these things in our lives. There's <sighs> incidents, and it's like whether well, you're going to use it or it's going to affect you. Or it's I'm not a. Scientists and I didn't study anatomy. I'm just a fucking meathead and telling you what feels good. So I took that and I used that fuel. I played I used a lot of anger that I had in me from my childhood and so on. I don't know, but instead of it going all over the fucking place, yeah. it was all internalized and then it was into those sessions those weight. Yep. 
come out here more, which is what I was doing. You can also come to the side, which works a different part of your bicep. these 90s. Let me see. Let's see this shit. Let's see this shit. Let's see this shit. Shh. Yeah. Oh shit. Form of shit, but damn. That's 90 fucking pounds. Oh yeah. Bringing the intensity and energy to your lift because that is the most important part. You know, it's a beautiful sunny day. Summer's coming, good vibes are coming. Everything I'm doing now is to look my best when I hop on that fucking stage. You should write speeches for Joe Biden, man. You could fire up a crowd real good. I really like what you said, it really resonated with me. You know what's gonna resonate with you is my fucking fist, actually. It's gonna resonate with the corner of your jaw. I'm getting better gains from going light, guys. I hate to say it, but I've been going light, listening to Nick Walker's advice, focus on the resistance and the contraction in really good fucking form so that I am indeed hitting the muscle group that I fucking want to and not ego lifting for once. And I'm getting results from it, guys. But grab it. These hammers, keep those elbows pinned, baby. No shoulder movement, no shoulder action. Fucking flick that wrist like upwards. When you're holding the weight, it's gonna en engage your forearm right there, and you're just gonna get forearm gains on top of forearm gains, along with bicep when you're doing this. Boom. Yeah. 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 Really get that stretch. No momentum, no shoulders. Pure breakout. Bro, that's literally filled with blood, that's insane. Tricep looking jack too. You see that? You see that bicep? Bring it up. Holy shit! Right there. Oh yeah. It looks fucking crazy. I'm scared. Everything I know is a fucking lie. I'm getting the fucking pump. I can't lose the pump while I'm recording. Muscle ray, we're gonna hurt some reverse. It's gonna work the front of that bicep down here too. This is actually part of your bicep, and uh, we, it looks like form, but it's bicep muscle. But, anyways, re reverse curls. I'm telling you, that bitch is especially on the preacher, fucking love them. Exquisite pump. You can just see, like, you want your shit to look like an, your elbow. 
Chris, come fill me up, man. Make sure I'm working the right muscle. Hold on, brother. Loading up the next exercise, so we waste no time. Thicker, thicker, thicker. Come on. Hold it up there, man. Hold it up there. No, stop. Man, every time I hit arms, I'm like, I need a shoulder pump on top of this. Because my arms are looking good, my shoulders are looking like shit. This is me training after fucking that long ass trip. Like, I've lost some anabolism, but I don't know. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> my name is Mikey. <laughs> I lift up heavyweight and put them down. You look really pretty. Can I get your logo? Can I go to the gym with you sometimes? <laughs> You like chicken and rice? You like to do or what do you mean you wanna go on thing? <laughs> <laughs> as far as biceps so far, I mean hammer curls, barbell curls, preacher curls, and then fucking it wouldn't be a true bicep breakout if we didn't do in a stretch position behind our backs. Those are you've gotta have those in your inventory. Cause that's the last bicep exercise yeah. we're gonna be doing. sets in and then you go in fucking feast I won't be feasting though because we are in catabolic state for the next couple months actually three months the boys are three months out from a show okay, we got 77 grams of carbs or of rice hot rice feral hot rice I'm also having chicken Two scoops of this. Isolate the cinnamon crunch feral. Protein, baby. We were gonna go for like literally just on our bottles having like just say ISO fucking ISO protein and then pump and then stem and just have it at black bottle, which would be funny, but like other side. Yep. But in terms of like I actually wanna have a fucking anabolic ass bottle. So we went with the other designs so far. But it would be funny just to release some shit that just says fucking pre workout on it. Literally nothing else. There, I got some pineapple, some rice, some chicken. I already drank my grams of protein. And then you got some hot rice. That just takes the edge off for real. It tastes sugary, but it's not. All these no fat, just quick carbs straight to the muscle. Get that recovery. Getting. Pretty, getting the muscles fast. Mm. Honestly, some days you just be looking smaller. Like today was one of them days. I just did not fill out my frame today. But it fucks with your mental, man. It does. I had body dysmorphia today. But, you know, we gotta show, show the good and the bad. Today was an absolute terrible fucking workout, I'm not gonna lie. Shucks, cause it's arms too. Yeah. 
I was riding a high. I was. But today, you know, some weeks are just better than others in the gym, to be honest. Some weeks I look fucking insane. Others I just look like a fucking frail little boy. Scale don't lie, I was 203 pounds this morning. 203? I was 205. So we gotta get down to 178 for classic. For our height. 180 for me. Sometimes you really just gotta be dead ass. 